What's up everyone, it's Mr. XL FPS bringing you a tutorial this time on how to get the best settings on your HD PBR2 on ArcSoft Showbiz. So first of all you want to open it, go to Capture, <coughs> and it takes a minute for it to load, but you want to change your source to your HD PBR, and then your video input you want to use HDMI if you're on Xbox 360 or a component if you're on PS3. I'm on PS3 so I'm using component and also PS3 uses line in RCA and 360 uses HDMI so I'm going to be using RCA once again. Now these settings right here for device settings I didn't change anything but if your settings aren't like this then you can apply what I have to your settings and make them look good. So there are my settings right there. I'm going to cancel it because I already have them saved by default. And uh, now this is where I edited a few things. Go to format settings and then click over here on video encoder and make sure that usually bit rate is in the middle. So you want to put it the whole way up. Make sure you do that and also do the same thing with peak bit rate. Um, and then this is the most important part that you have bitrate mode on constant and you want to apply that and then hit OK but I'm going to hit cancel again because I already have this saved as my default and uh, make sure like I said uh, that this is uh, MP4 and this is hard hardware acceleration is already checked and that's it for this is it for capturing a um, few editing tips all you gotta really do is go to video if you want your video I'm gonna put in MLB the show now some people might like it in story mode but I like or story mode <laughs> storyboard I like it in timeline so uh, I'd put it in timeline if I was you and say you want to uh, edit it and cut something I would you would hit uh, the scissors go to where you want it say like where I'm hitting the ball or the balls coming at me let's see right here right before I'm about to hit the ball or yep right here right before I'm about to hit the ball alright you hit mark in where you want it to be and then you go back or to the right or wherever you want it to be and cut you hit mark out to cut what you want out once it, you hit mark out it'll cut right here like this and then you'll hit OK and it will cut the audio and the video as well so it'll start where this is starting so after you do that um, if you want to do maybe if you're doing commentaries over it you want to make sure you have this thing wherever you want to start your commentary say you want to start it here that's where you keep it if you want to start it here that's where you put it but I'm gonna start from the beginning so here's this is how you do it make sure that this is clicked in so that way that these settings pop up so you want to hit hit this little microphone make sure you have your whatever mic you want selected obviously um, where you want it selected I put it in my music and what name and name the file what you want it to be and make sure you add it to the album so that way if this uh, program glitches you can have it already saved and you don't have to re-commentate you can just go back and redo it or just apply it into the video because it's already there so I'm gonna do an example you just hit the record button this is me doing a commentary on MLB the show 2012 whatever I, hit, I mean hit the red button again and it'll go down here this is to your second audio what I recommend doing is taking this thing there's a little blue line you want to take it take the, the, the mouse thing that shows up with the speaker volume and you want to put it all the way up that's what I normally do make sure it's clicked first so that way you can do that so like this right here you can't see how the blue lines there and you can't do anything you want to click it and then 
that thing shows up. I usually bring that down a little bit because you obviously want your commentary louder than the game, so that's like that. And after that, you can hit X for whatever. And there's all my like audio clips. But anyway, if you say you want to add some some text, you want to go hit this text button, and you want to drag whichever one you want, put it wherever you want. I dragged it to the beginning, and type whatever you want. Then you can go right here, uh, just uh, click back if that happens, enter your text, and this little thing comes up, and you can move it wherever you want. This is your this is where you can change your font. This is your font size and wherever you want it. Obviously, it's not going to move cuz they already have it in the middle. This is bold italic obviously and there's your colors. Um I'm not going to be putting any text. Well, I guess I am. <laughs> this program's pretty glitchy. I didn't want to put anything, but I guess it already made me cuz I slid it into it. So anyway, after you put your text, um, I'm just going to delete this. You obviously know how to do that since I just showed you. Um, say you want to use a transit, uh, an effect. All you do is you take it and you drag it over the video and you apply it. I'm not going to be doing that because it's going to make my video all different colors. I'll, I'll do it right here just to show you an example. If it does anything. <laughs> Yeah, there it goes. See, it turns the whole video green, or you can change it to black and white, whatever you want to do. Uh, I wouldn't use any of these settings, to be honest, but that's up to you guys. And uh, I'm glad I did this, because I can show you an example. Like, if you don't like what you put in there, you right-click whatever you put it into, and hit Delete All Effects from this clip, and it'll delete it, and it'll go back to normal. So say you have two clips, right? All right. Say, say you want to put a transition in between clips. What you do is you go here, the transitions, and you choose one of your transitions, and you put it in the middle of the, between the two tracks. So there's there's the beginning. Like all right, say this right here is the first track or the first video track and you want it to slide into say there's a video say there's a video right where it says drag and drop here so you want to put it in the middle of drag and drop here and between you want to put it between the middle of this right here this video and the other video so that way it does the transition into the other part the part that you want it to transition to so if also there's I have I, I had a hard time figure this one out too. Say you um after you do your commentation you want to go to your commentation, I mean my, your commentary. Whatever. I don't even know if that's a word commentation, whatever. But if you want to do your if you want to hear your commentary to see if it's the right like right uh volume, you want to usually when you click it Maybe I'm just a noob and I had trouble with it, but I didn't realize this for a little bit. Um, if it's like that, clicked in, and you want to hear your commentary, you want to hear everything you put into it, you want to hit Entire Project, and then hit Play. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it would play all the audio and the video at the same time. So, this is all the settings that I know about in ArcSoft Showbiz so after you're done with that if you still want to this is this is basically for the best quality instead of doing this uh, create whatever or the upload to YouTube you want to do the create file and you want to change make sure that those are all the same it shouldn't be the default the same no matter what but you want to change it to AVI and you want to make sure it's on high quality settings on whoops you want to make sure that it's on 1920 by 1080 and you also want to make sure that uh the video frame rate is on 29.97 or 30 either one will work I'm pretty sure 
I'm just using 29.97 so if you want to use the same settings as me feel free so anyway after you do that you want to go to uh, wherever you want to save it and put it there and then you want to hit start start so it'll start and it'll it'll render but I'm not gonna sit here through all that yeah I'm gonna cancel it and uh, thanks for watching guys and thanks for all the video views and all that I'll be uploading more videos daily nightly whatever I can do and uh, see you guys